Today we're going to talk about a new array method that's arrived with recent versions of ECMAScript, which is the technical name for JavaScript, uh, basically. Let's say you've got an array. This array is full, for whatever reason, of other arrays. Something like this. That's great. Nice separation of good, evil, and droids. Who are also good. I'm not trying to be droidist here. But perhaps you're looking to just convert that down into a single array of values. In the past, that involved some fairly tedious thrashing around to accomplish using reduce and concat. And if you had deeply nested arrays, that is, an array within an array within an array, or even further, it became even more complicated. Now we've got array.prototype.flat, which allows you not only to flatten your arrays, but to specify the depth to which you want to flatten them. Let's take a look at how that works. First, we'll flatten this array, which only has a single level of depth. It's easy. Here's the code. Let's take a look at that. As you can see, we just have a single array with a whole bunch of strings in it. Note also that if we console log the original array, it's still nested. Like many, but not all, array methods, flat is non-destructive. It returns an entirely new array rather than mutating the existing one. Working with a single level array of arrays, everything's simple and easy, and if you're only dealing with one level of depth, this will get the job done. However, let's toss something a little more complex at it. Take a look at that. Dope. It only flattened a single level, so we still have a subarray in there. We have to give flat a parameter telling it how many levels to use. We'll go with two for now, but you can use any number, including infinity. Observe. Take a look at that. And that flattened it out completely. So far, everything's worked fine, but what happens if your subarrays don't all contain unique items? Well, the answer is nothing. Your flattened array will contain duplicates. Watch. Save this. And we've got Robot Pirate Ninja Robot, which sounds like an awesome thing to have and indeed might be a good thing. You're not always looking for unique data after all. But in case you are, the easy way to nuke any duplicate items is by converting to a set and then using the spread operator to convert back to an array. Check it out. Save that. Robot Pirate Ninja which is still pretty awesome. Last thing to note about flat. It'll remove empty array spaces. That's handy most of the time, but if your application has need for empty spaces in your arrays, be aware of it. You might want to change the code so the empty space is taken up by a zero or other null, undefined, or false -y value rather than just nothing. Here's an example. Save that and take a look at our results. As you can see, in the first one, the empty space is removed. But in the second one, where we've used undefined to mark an empty space, it's kept. And that's it for this week. Catch you next time.